Right, is it okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here today with one of my close friends and my favourite beauty blogger, Shar. <laughs> Hi! <Shan>. Hi! <laughs> Um, and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to ask Sean some tips about managing curly hair. As you can see, we've yeah, both, both got curls, curls naturally yeah. curly hair. Which Kirby doesn't wear her hair curly enough, like how gorgeous does it look guys, I'm loving it. <laughs> we just thought we'd do, it's our first yeah. collab video really. It is, yeah. We've done vlogs together before. Haven't we? But we have. Well, yeah. like we've featured, but it's just nice to finally do a video together because we are actually like really close friends and we do chat about this stuff all the time. Yeah. So yeah. It's going to be perfect. And as Sean said, I don't wear my hair curly that often because, to be honest, I'm quite scared of it curly, which sounds ridiculous. It's so, I, well, I personally find it really difficult to manage it when it's curly. Once it's straight, it's straight and that's fine. It'll wave a little bit. Yeah but it doesn't particularly frizz, whereas when I've got it curly, I find it frizzes quite a lot. So, I wanted to ask Sean some tips, because her hair always looks amazing. Oh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> I think the first rule of curly hair is to embrace it. Like, I think yeah. you've got to kind of be like, do you know what, if my hair looks a bit of a mess, fine, I'm owning it, because you can't control your curls. You can tame them, but you can't really control them. They're gonna do what they wanna do. So, mm -hmm. I think you've got to embrace it a little bit, like today. Yes. I'm loving it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we were gonna just talk about some of the products we use, because yeah. obviously, even though Kirby does straighten her hair, a lot she does have gorgeous curls as well so yeah should we run through some of the products yeah you? how to tame your curly hair so, um, so my know. first product that I've got is this Bumble and Bumble curl style mousse such nice packaging <clears throat> it is gorgeous guys and I was really hesitant to bring this on the channel because I thought this is my first time on Kirby's channel and I'm bringing quite an expensive product but I do love it I do stick to it <clears throat> if it does the trick it does yeah. like this before like a little disclosure before i go into it this does actually cost 22 pound a bottle i know it's quite <laughs> pricey for a hair mousse but honestly i absolutely love this hair mousse what i love about it is that it's one of the mousses that you can put in your hair and it doesn't leave your hair like crispy after you know oh, like when you yeah. when you have curly hair you don't you want real definition but you don't want it to go all crispy also what i love about this is the smell of it like it literally has like a perfume smell i don't know if like Ooh. smell my hair like oh do, you know, do you know what i mean it's actually, not like yeah, cause... yeah. <laughs> And it's not like a fruity smell or like a shampoo smell. It is like you have put perfume in your hair. Yeah. It's lovely. And I just love it. It says for soft, boisterous, crunch-free curls. And it does do that. Um, if I'm being honest, if I wanted like to give you guys a cheaper alternative, it would be the John Frieda uh, Frizzies Mousse. Um, that's a curl reviver mousse, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, and I, I do use a lot of John Frieda stuff as well. I know you do. Which I do. So that's that brings you on to one of your products. Yes. So, I've actually got a couple of John Frieda stuff. Um, to start with, I have got the shampoo and conditioner. Now, this is a mirac miraculous recovery one. However, you can get one that is specifically for curly hair. I think it's mm -hmm. called Curl Around. Yeah, it's, it? there's, there's two ranges. I think there's a Curl Reviver and a Curl Around. Right. But they kind of change, they keep changing yeah, them. Yeah, and they change the packaging, so it's oh. a little bit... <laughs> it makes it so hard when you're trying to find it though, right? It does, but I really love these ones because they're for damaged hair as well. Mm -hmm. As I said, I straighten mine quite a lot. So when yeah, I do... Yeah, that's a really oh, good it's idea. still wet from the shower. <laughs> I'm just going to... I'll do a look close up and then put it down. <laughs> That one, um, a little bit but wet. Yeah, because I do, because <laughs> I do straighten my hair quite a lot. I think I do damage it with the heat, mm -hmm. and obviously when I want it curly, I don't want it to look heat damage free. No, but it doesn't. Help with so it hair. obviously works because yeah. your hair does look really healthy still. And Thank as you, you said, you do straighten it a lot. Yeah. And I know when I used to straighten my hair a lot, I said like it really damaged my curls. I felt like my curls didn't go as nice after a while. So I think if you do have curly hair, but you want to have the best of both worlds, that's probably a really good option, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. Um, also, just a little tip, I recommend to leave in the conditioner. Um, shampoo your hair, put your conditioner in, put it in a bubble and leave it while you do all your other showery mm. things, like your scrub, mm. shave your legs, etc. Then wash your conditioner out, just it gives it like a bit of a deeper treatment really. Yeah, I do do that, but I am going to use a bubble now because I actually try and balance my hair on my head <laughs> while I do like my other 
it in there. <laughs> Literally, I like whip it round and I'm just like, it never stays there. And I'm like showering like in this kind of motion, <laughs> trying not to move my head. So yeah, I think that's, um, I don't know why that's I didn't think of that. <laughs> um, and actually, another little tip yeah. there, when you're using your bubble, get one without metal, just cause yeah. the metal can snag on your hair and with curls, it's <clears> difficult <throat> enough to manage anyway. You don't want to add extra fridge frizz and damage to it mm -hmm. so get one like the um what are they called just yeah. like with the glue basically or with no yeah you can get them from beats i get them from beats yeah. all the time they're just like a straight elastic band basically yeah yeah but not elastic right? yeah <laughs> like, I don't know what they're called. Just hair bands yeah, from me, just basically. basically. My next one is another Bumble and Bumble product. I have been using their products a lot lately, and that's just simply because they're kind of a new brand to me. I've been trialing them out. They are a little bit pricier, as I said, but they're actually really, really good. This one is probably my favourite product out of their range. It is the BB Curl Primer, and it's just exactly like what you think in makeup a primer is. It's kind of something you put on as a base. You basically squirt this on you apply this to damp hair it also has an amazing smell as well and what I like about this is as I said if you use any mousses um, curl sprays anything like that if you apply a lot of them to stop the frizz they will have a slight drying or crunchy effect mm -hmm. spray this on afterwards or before it's really down to preference this is a creamier base so it kind of takes away that crunchiness but still because it's meant for curls yeah. still holds the curls also what's great with this one is you know like the next day after you've slept on your hair and it goes really flat mm. or fuzzy or frizzy whatever your hair decides to do overnight the next day after i've showered i would spritz a little bit through this through my hair again right. when to it's like, dry yeah like okay. even when it's dry just to like revive it just avoiding the roots because obviously it'd make it yeah. a little bit greasy just at the ends and stuff just to kind of like revive the hair yeah. and Um, a big thumbs up for me on that one. Next. Oh God, I'm actually sweating, it's so hot in here. It is quite hot, it's the night. <laughs> 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 Lord! Oh. Um, at least it's not humid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the hair, we're like doing a hair video, it's like <laughs> oh, oh um, dear. So another reviver um, I find is good is this, which is what brand is it? I don't know what brand is it. <laughs> <laughs> what brand is this? I don't know. They do this in boots. We don't know what brand it is, but it's Organics. really good. Organics. 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 Sorry, Organics. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just great to take away the frizz. Um, this is a hydrating oil and it's specifically an anti-frizz one and I find even if you put it in after washing when your hair's still wet even when your hair's dry you can use it and it just helps mm -hmm. to like keep the frizz away and just revive it as Sean said yeah I actually use a similar one to this as well I didn't bring it with me but they do this one with argan oil as well and it's like mm. a more intense one and I get it from Boots and you can either spray it in or squirt it on your hands and rub it in um so a serum or some sort of oil based product is really good for curls just avoid your roots so my next product is actually for the girls that kind of want to tame their curls a little bit more like when you want that really like slicked back look or you want your hair off your face I think that sometimes hairspray doesn't cut it or it doesn't hold your curls or you just can't get that really like sleek look yeah, maybe with baby hair yes I've exactly baby the baby hair. hair drama that we get we girls go through um so I use I've said this a lot on my channel actually it's the olive oil and it's basically like edge control and it's, it says it's a hair gel, but it's not, um, it doesn't dry hard at all. It's like basically like a hair gel that drives really smooth. I don't know, like, okay. how, yeah. So basically like I would use hard. that. I would use that with like a really thick bristle brush. I've just got this from Boots and literally brush it through and you can just get a really like slicked back sleek hairstyle yeah. and i often have my hair in a top knot just because ha curly hair is hard to manage and i just want to get it off my face sometimes and i would use these two this one is actually slightly different packaging because it's got the PQ oil i hope i'm saying that right it's basically got an extra something in it so you might notice this same thing but with just green packaging and it's pre pretty much the same thing this one just smells a bit nicer yeah i was gonna say can i smell it yeah it's like oh yeah yeah that's really nice it smells really like fruity and yeah. the texture of it it almost looks like gel 
quickly I pop this I pop a little bit in the palms of my hand rub it through my hair and then I use like a really like thick brish bristled I can't speak today a thick bristled, bristled brush <laughs> yeah <laughs> thanks Kim um yeah and that's because obviously when you when I mean I don't know about you but I don't brush my hair when it's no, going no I brush it um I comb it through with the conditioner or with my fingers and then yes. after that it's gonna not get brushed again until it's washed so mm -hmm. this kind of brush will brush your hair and slick it back but without actually going through the hair right. so it gives it a really nice finish I'll just show you yeah like so so I'm guessing, would you use that just on the top of your hair when you brush it back on? Yeah. Can you go through all of it? You could do, like, if you wanted it to be, like, if you're going to have it in a bun and you want it to be uh, really okay. smooth, yeah. you could do. But with me, what I tend to do is, like, basically rub it in and put it, like, through my hair, yeah. through all the roots, through, like, the underneath, and then, like, brush my hair just up. Just brush the... Yeah. yeah. And then just brush my hair up into whatever style I want it in. Okay. Um, yeah, or if you wanted, even on straight hair, you could use this as well. Um, you know when they want that like quite slicked back look, they can yeah. just pop, pop it on the sides and then like yeah, have their hair in a bit of like a poof on top or something. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, so straight haired girls, you can use it as well. <laughs> That's everything from you, mate. Yeah. I've got one last thing, which is another John Frieda frizzies, and it's actually a Gur Curlier. So it's it's a heat activated spray. However, I used it today and. I didn't use the hairdryer with it, mm -hmm. and it, it works, it seemed to work just as well. And you basically just well, spray it. it's quite it. hot. <laughs> it's <laughs> hot. <laughs> I'm like, woo! It's great, you put about 10, well I use more than 10 sprays, so I've got quite long hair, but just spray it all over your hair mm. while it's wet, leave it to dry, scrunch it. If you're gonna dry it, use your diffuser on your blur dryer. Yeah, I always use a diffuser. Yeah, 100%. And it's just really good. It's definitely worth a buy if you've got I haven't hair. tried that. I, yeah, it's I really, really like the look of that. And I am, even though I know I haven't mentioned any frizzies by John Frieda products, I'm a big fan of theirs. They, yeah. they are good products. They're really good. And they're a lot um, like lower price. So if you wanted to try something out, I would yeah. recommend going for some frizzies products because I, yeah. I, they are really good. They usually on offer as well. Yeah. <laughs> they usually do um, like buy three, get one free. No, wait. Buy, buy three for two. Three for three two. For two. <laughs> God. Um, oh, I, yeah. It really means the same thing, but just no one says buy three, get one free. Yeah. I think that sounds quite good. I think we should put that too. Buy three, get one free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, because I think you'd add, then you'd get four. Oh, free yeah. Two, oh, yeah. Two, yeah, three, three for two. two is what we're talking um, about. <laughs> sorry. Tip. What? I have another tip. Okay, go for it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's your channel, um, baby. Yeah, just before we end. I find coconut oil is really good for curly hair, mm. Just for hair in general to be honest. I always, if I put it, don't put it on and then leave your hair because otherwise you'll just look greasy. Mm -hmm. But if you put it on before you're going to wash your hair, so maybe like an hour before, leave it to soak in, put it all through your hair, leave it to soak in and then wash it out in the shower. It's just so great. Your hair takes all the moisture but without being greasy, it yeah. takes away the frizz. It's really yeah. good for it. I haven't actually tried, like, I know it's really good for hair, but I haven't actually tried that, so yeah, I might do that do. because I think um, it's really important to, to not have dry hair when your hair's curly. Yeah. Because when your hair's dry, it just looks 10 times frizzier. So I think um, I would rather my hair be slightly, like, greasier and look, like, really slick and curled yeah, than be, like, drier. Um, so, yeah, I think that'd be a really good tip. I'm going to yeah. try that. Yeah. Yes. yes, thank you very much, Sean. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you do want to see more from Sean, everything's linked below. Um, yeah, we're actually going to film a video on my channel as well. So mm -hmm. if you enjoyed this, just head on over. It's going to be all about like health and beauty. So a little chit chat yeah. with us. So head on over to my channel and watch that yeah, one as well. Top health and beauty. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you very much. And yeah, if you did like today's video, don't forget to like and comment. You can subscribe for free updates every time I post. Check me out on Instagram mm -hmm. at curlyanne or at tigresslifestyle.com. But everything is linked to be there. Thanks guys! Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs>